Toodaloo's workshops presented by Big Mouth Crafters on Facebook and Ostitch.com. Today we are about to start a sewing lesson with 14-year-old teenage boy GT who was going to make himself a pair of mittens under my instructions. So the first thing that you will need is a sewing machine. Then you will need fleece, straight pins, a marker, a pair of scissors, and an old pair of jeans. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to draw a line from here to here. And it doesn't have to be perfect because remember, that's just your cutting line. Then you're going to draw a line from here to here. Okay. And then what you want to do is just simply cut here and then cut here. Okay, so next, we're going to turn the jeans around. You're going to place your hand here, take your marker, and draw a line from here to here. Lift the first layer up once again. Okay, turn the jeans around. And the same thing, we're going just to cut the line from here to here and then on the second layer as well. Next, we're going to draw a line from here to here and then from here to here. to turn it around and then you're going just to cut along the lines here and then on the second layer we're going to do the same lines and then we're going to cut it as well after you're done you'll have four layers of denim material Okay, so we already have the four layers of denim pre-cut. And we're going to take two layers of the fleece and place it on the side. And two layers of the denim and place it on the side. And we're all ready now to position the fleece and the denim together. First, we're going to start by placing one part of the fleece down and placing one layer of the denim fabric right side up, the second part of the denim right side down, and then the fleece goes on top, exactly. Then you're going to take one hand, which hand are you going to use, okay? And then all you're going to do now is take your marker and do an outline of your hand. However, you wanna do it much bigger because you want to have room to move your fingers around. And once you do the outline of your hand, if you still think that it may be a little bit too small, remember this is going to be in the inside of your mitten, so you can just do it again. So let's take a look at it. And you can actually do a second line just in case so you can see which line you want to use to sew your seam on.
Very good. So we're going to turn it around to the camera so everyone can see that the first line that you drew was your first line, and then your second line gives you room just in case you think that the first line is too small and you want to have a little bit more room to wiggle your fingers around a little bit. And once again, it doesn't have to be perfect because this part of your mitten will be inside of your glove. Okay, so what we're going to do now is cut along the larger part of your trace line. And here's the thing, we're going to cut all four layers together. So you're not going to cut one layer at a time. You're going to cut all four layers together. So now that all four layers are cut out to the size of your mitten, you're going to just pin them together. And remember the order that we have, we're going to leave it in that order. So we got your fleece, we have your denim jean material right side up, your denim jean material right side down, and the fleece on top. And the only thing that you want to do is exactly pin it all the way around except you want to leave this opening because remember that's where your hand is going to sew I'm, so, I'm sorry slide inside of there and you don't want to sew that together yeah you don't want to sew your hand you don't want to sew your hand or you don't want to sew your mitten because you won't be able to fit them so I'll help you and we just want to kind of get it along the rim of it because if we take too much inside then we cut down the size of your glove. And watch your fingers so you don't stick yourself. Okay, so we have pinned all four layers together on the outline of the mitten, except for the area where he's going to slide his hand in. So once again, We've pinned all four layers together. This area was left open and we're going to take this to the machine and sew it all the way around except for this area right here. Okay, so we already have the mitten layers onto the machine. The next thing that you're going to do is put your needle into position. Yes, and then before you start to pedal, you want to pull out the first pin, put it into the pin dish, and then you're going to sew a straight seam. Now, before you sew your straight seam, I want to tell you that you don't ever want to sew on top of your pins that you have in place there because it can damage your machine, it can break and pop into your eye and cause an injury. So that we don't want. So basically you're sewing in a few inches of increments. This looks like it's about maybe an inch and a half. So you're sewing this much and then you're going to pull the next pin out, put it into the the dip the oh, I'm sorry, the pin dish and then sew a little bit more, take the next pin out and so forth. Is that clear? Okay. So let's get started. You've already got your needle in place. And we are ready to sew. Yep, you can pull out your next pin, put it into the pin dish, and then we're going to sew in a few more increments of inches.
So you're almost down to your final part of sewing. And you're coming towards that opening part. Make sure you don't sew that opening together. Okay, so GT have completed the sewing part of it. And what we're going to do now is trim the excess trim off of here. Turn the glove inside out. And then GT is going to try it on to see if it's a fit. Okay, so we've had GT turn the glove inside out and he's tried it on, but we have some imperfections here. So we're going to turn it inside out and restitch it around the thumb and the fingers so it doesn't look like he has holy gloves. Once we do that, we'll turn it inside out again or outside in and he'll be able to fit it and then that's it. You've made your set of mittens. And that's it. Well, thanks for watching today. If you would like to join us on Big Mouth Crafters, log on to Facebook at Big Mouth Crafters, or you can check us out at O Stitch Embroidery on Facebook, as well as Ostitch.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.